Всем привет, с вами по рукам. Самый известный армпроект в стране. Армрестлинг придуман был специально для них. Очень-очень красивый борьба будет. Возраст это не помеха, далеко. Не выиграю, так съем его. Пауэрлифтинг все, ты только занимаешься пауэрлифтингом, ты вообще больше ничего не делаешь, насколько разный подход в тренировках. И, by the way, I appreciate all those who support me uh, from Russia. I love you guys and I thank you guys so much gratitude for you guys coming out, you guys always commenting. My, my sleep is screwed up. They're not excuses, because I'm here. I, I show up and I compete, no matter what. And that's what I'm going to do, so. Еще, друзья, мы сходу, без разговора, сейчас летаем в наш зал, в Neo Geo, где базируется у нас команда Mossarm под предводительством Василия Сорокина. У нас сегодня особые гости. У нас сегодня мой друг с Австралии Уэйн Хоулит. У нас сегодня Андрей Николаевич Зайкин. У нас сегодня Мартин. С Мартином интересные истории, чуть позже скажу. И Джулиус Медекс, человек, который жмет 355 килограмм. Ну и сразу, чтобы вам было интереснее, Мартин у нас был замминистра Министерства сельского хозяйства Аргентины. Вот еще официальное лицо аргентинской футбольной сборной. И, по-моему, личный друг Леона Лемесси, если я не ошибаюсь. Is your friend? No, no, not my friend. I wish. I wish. <laughs> no, no, I haven't met him yet. You know him? Not in person yet. Not in person, no. But he knows you, yeah? He knows all, after hundred percent he knows all me, yeah, hundred percent. You know his best friend Aguero, which was the number one striker all the time for Manchester City, and his uh, son, his Maradona's grandson, I mean his video game as a character of me in the World Cup like this, and he sent me a jersey signed by him and yeah, but Messi, I'm very close. I know I'm gonna meet him soon. What's the plan, bro? I get to lift with one of the greatest power lifters ever in the history of the world. Correll. And it's, so today we're gonna slowly go into um, comparison on, I guess, form, because I want to pick his brain on, you know, how he trains and uh, parts of his form. But also, we're gonna uh, get some body work done, and I'm gonna do some blood flow work for the competition on su Sunday. It's okay that you bench in one day before uh, competition. I'm not. I'm not gonna go heavy. I'm gonna go like extremely light. And there's a philosophy where I can't, I'll have to uh, go back into my notes, but where as long as you're training low intensity, that it's okay to go like compete or go for a heavy one rep max, you know, a couple days later or the next day. I don't know if this makes sense, but it's almost like practicing before you go play. Like Kobe Bryant, one of my favorite basketball players in the world, he would practice three to four hours по плану, что сегодня? Очень необычный для меня, насколько разный подход в тренировках. Джулиус сегодня будет сжать, а ему послезавтра выступать. А сегодня он тренируется. Я минимум 3-4 дня перед жимом отдыхал. Минимум. А он будет сжать сегодня. Но 140 это для него сколько это процентов? Процентов 40 он будет от максимума. Слушай, а как тебе вот насчет того, что он только прилетел, получается? Нет, ну вчера прилетел. Я вчера уже его возил, то есть сутки он здесь, он поспал. Ну, то есть восстановиться достаточно, да? Нет, джетлэк это такая штука, которая тебя будет шпилить, тебя будет на протяжении недели, я знаю, о чем он говорит. У нас 10 часов разница, это колоссальная разница. У него дома сейчас 6 утра, а у нас здесь 4 вечера. Я не знаю, если это потому, что я спал или что, но мы будем делать какую-то интернальную и экстерную ротацию, чтобы как-то подготовиться. И он показал мне этот маленький трюк здесь. О, да. So I'll just give it a bit of pressure here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Keep going. You tell me when. Keep going. And you've got to give pressure here too. Okay. You tell me when. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, right there. Good? Mm -hmm. Got the spot? That's good. Be able to apply that pressure, right? No. So, Yeah. that really kind of right. stopped it from clicking. I'm feeling pretty confident. So, the <laughs> whole point is I want to lift over 700 pounds this Sunday. That's the goal. I'm going to come over here um, and put up some weight, uh, support all my followers from Russia. And by the way, I appreciate all those who support me uh, from Russia. I love you guys and I thank you guys so much gratitude uh, for you guys coming out, I mean, you guys always commenting and sharing my videos. So, hey, I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. Just like the back of the shirt and then I'll stand behind the bench. How many times have you been caught and you ain't gonna get back either? They only got chat like Eva. They got no pool like Eva. One called for six on three now I'm talking the town like Muggs. I'm up time with this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a pretty decent deadlift. So the most I've deadlifted was 800, 805. 
Yeah, I mean, it's with straps. But uh, I just don't train. Yeah. Because if I train deadlift, I'll be There's out. No purpose right now. I'll be out for a week. Same with yeah. squatting. I'll be out for a week uh, if, I, if I squat a heavy, you know, one rep max or something. I'm not one rep. It has no purpose single. at the moment yeah. with what your plan is. Well, but with those numbers, if you applied yourself, you would have the, one of the biggest yeah. totals. Yeah. yeah, easy. I think I want to go, but I want to go with strong man. I want to do yeah. overhead pressing. Yeah. Um, I have a my overhead press just by, with the barbell is crazy. Yeah, we're all excited to see what you can do. Um, I just want to show the world. Yeah. What I can do, you know what I mean? Because it's just like been doing it for ten years now, and it's just like now or never. It's basically yeah. the mindset. There's a dumbbell in Iceland at Thor's gym. Uh -huh. It's legendary. No one has picked it up for Kirill will confirm, but there's a video and Kirill walked in cold and picked it up off the ground. No one had picked it up for years and years and years. It sat there in dust in a very famous hardcore gym That's in Iceland. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, how much was it, Kirill? The no. dumbbell? 129 kg. That's almost 300 yeah. pounds. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, he did tell me his uh, his hand pressure is like 130, 130 kg, which the most I've got was like 200. Yeah. So it just goes to show. I don't I don't work on grip strength, but uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Sure, it's safety or not be before the competition? Oh, that's right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, have I like device. challenges. <laughs> I have this device. Okay, I'll try it with. It's already registering. No, it's it's not. Okay. Any boop. 103. Big Is that big numbers? Big numbers, yeah. All right, let's try it with the left hand. What are you guessing? What do you think? 110. Oh, it's less. less. Less than, uh, this is my strong hand, Girl, so. The, the, your fingers were cracking on my last I can hear it, I probably need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop, my fingers were literally popping. You want to try, brother? Oh, no, I can't even close my ear. That easy? What I have on my side? 120 was left. That's crazy. <laughs> Still. Still. But check this out, numbers. The same. It means you're stable. Oh, like consistent? Yeah. Okay. I, I, listen, I broke 103, so. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna train too? Are you training or? Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. You need? Um, I just threw one. Uh, it just went up 10 kg, but you want to add a plate? How do you? So, how do you work up whenever you're training? Start with just uh, with the bar. Okay. Start with the bar. A empty bar. Then put. 20s, like it's 60, 60 kilo, then 20s plus, it's 100 kilo, then uh, I think 15s, 15s. Right now I'm benching not more than, uh, working with not more than 200 kilo. I don't need more. A, a, a misconception, people think that you have to train heavy all the time. No. Uh, Corel's been lifting since he's 15. How old are you now? 35. So he's 35. He's been training for 20 years. 20 years. No major injuries as far as bench press. There's a reason for that. It's because we don't train heavy all year round. We slowly increase. Uh, we might work up to a sub max, but then we'll take a break and we'll back off again and we'll just keep building on the same, um, I say the same max that we uh, built up on. So for those of you younger generation, yeah, it looks cool coming in and trying to get, go heavy every single week. It looks cool, but I guarantee you won't be lifting when you're 30. That's the problem. It looks cool only on Instagram. Yeah, it looks cool only on Instagram. It's Instagram champions, you know, yeah. like. <laughs> Instagram champions. Yeah, they That's try right. their best every week, just not because they want to grow up, just because they want to show to everybody, like, look look at me. And they try to make every week video just for the posting. Yeah. And don't they, they don't think about the competition. They think only about the Instagram and about the video. They think about only the views and the comments. You're watching everybody else work out and you can't do it anymore, you know? So um, stay safe, work up slow, work up to, uh, do you offer any training programs? Yeah, um, you also have your program. Your I, I offer training programs also, uh, kind of the same style, styles of how we train. 
Um, and it's not because we want your money. It's because we have a lot of experience and we don't, we want to make the, um, I would say we want to make, we want to make it a ba basically a better place for athletes in learning benching and squatting and deadlifting, safer uh, for you guys to be able to follow a template or follow a program. Um, because I advise everybody, either have a coach or follow some kind of template that you can continue reusing over and over again. I love, love your video when some crazy shit happens and then the science like uh, my, my problems program. yeah will prevent this shit. <laughs> you know the crazy thing I haven't been posting those lately because I have somebody that goes in every time I post those videos they go in and flag it. They report my videos. They've been doing it a lot lately. Uh, I have an idea of a few people who would do that. Um, and I get along with every I love everybody. I get along with everybody. So has your wrist been hurting? A little bit after with, I'm uh, resting with the Lara. Okay. It's a little bit short, it's painful a little bit here. But it's okay, it's just in the time. Are you allowed to wear any kind of wrist wraps while you... I don't like that. Yeah. I'll, so, while you're benching you don't even wear wrist wraps? So completely raw, no... That's crazy. I have to, I'm a baby, I have to have wrist wraps. Gotta support them, them tree trunks, you know? Heftier, but it's... Too soft. If you need it, if it's good for you, you need help. Yes. One, two, up. Это разница между профи и нет. То есть я тренируюсь без ассистента, я сам себе снимаю. Раньше, до этого, когда я выступал, постоянно кто-то мне снимал. Джулюсу уже со 120 килограмм, видите, подаю. Это то, о чем я вам говорю постоянно, постоянно. Ассистент должен, ассистент, чтобы не травмироваться, чтобы плечи. Ваша задача – все, опустить, пожать. You always have the top dog that you're watching. It's not like you're like you're, you know, rivals, but you have to have something to base your progression off of or base your um, your goals off of. And every time he just kept like knocking them down, just boom, boom, boom. And I'm just like, how? I don't, you know, I don't understand. You know, who who was that for you in your time? Milanichev was my idol, but I was never ever reaching his levels. But I used to try to mimic everything. His explosiveness, um, his very deep squatting, his, uh, his ability to walk the weight out um, from any weight on any rack um, and to compete anywhere all over the world in any condition. I used to aspire to be like that, to be like Milanichev. And, um, but that, and that drove me to heights, you know, yeah. like never to reach his height because it was impossible. But um, to do it as uh, as skillfully as Milanichev, that was my passion, and I'm known for uh, a very good technique. So nowadays, it's almost like kids have that same vision, but they're following off somebody who's false. You know what I mean? So it's causing all this chaos in the industry. And it's just falling off. Like powerlifting to me, I love it. It just changed my life. But it seemed like it's on a slow decline. Like it's just different. It's not the same as it used to be. Uh, tell me that you do your back how many times in a week? So for every pushing movement, you have um, you have you're supposed to have two pulling movements. So uh, it'd be two to one ratio or one to two ratio. I do three to one. So for every pushing movement pressing movement, I do three variations. So not saying I do it all in one day. So every day I, I might incorporate two different back variations, um, switching up the angles, whether it's seated row, which in return, I have a more stable bench. I feel stronger, I feel more explosive. Uh, but the biggest tool for me, push-ups. People forget, they leave out push-ups. Push-ups are probably one of the, I'd say the main pillars in my training is doing push-ups. It means how many times in a week you make a bench press or the exercise? Twice a week, twice so a week. one heavy, one, one speed. Weeks. If you bench it twice in a week, you make six, six different training on the back. Six different trainings on the back, unless I'm feeling nasty. I might go eight. You know, like, you know those days where you come in and you're just like, I, I, I need more. True. <clears throat> so every single day, he does every training day a form of back movement yeah so it's multiple so whether it's a different angle here 
here, all these are different angles that hit, tar, kind of target different positioning uh, uh, or different parts of your back. Well, with that belly sticking out, let's tuck his shirt in. <laughs> we have a saying in Russia. What's that? The good owner must keep his horse under the cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you must. Which part of the horse? I was just to test it to make sure I'm okay. I'm good for Sunday. See, he's different. Not different. No, no, no. I'm telling to in the camera how important when someone is assist you because when yeah. I, when I when I compete. I, I don't do a bench press without uh, someone who helps me. Okay. okay. Never. I don't even care if I hit 685, 6, the whole point is to be able to do all the adversity, do all the flights, come over here and, and get on the platform, no matter what. So that's the goal. The, ultimately, while I'm over here, I want to hit 700 pounds. But if I don't, it's okay. Um, the fact that, you know, literally my time zone is, my, my sleep is screwed up. And not excuses, because I'm here, I, I show up and I compete, no matter what, and that's what I'm gonna do. So <laughs> we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna lift some, I call it, we're gonna get those cookies clinging, all right? So these are called cookies. Everybody loves cookies. I love cookies. I love weights. And when they're metal, they cling, cling, cling. So we say, let's get these cookies clinging and they would leave a gap in between the metal plates uh -huh. so they could hear the clanging and it would just get them uh, going more get crazy. Them fired up. Oh, I yeah. love it, I love it. The, and just then, that sound. So in the last few reps where you didn't know if you could get up or not, you just power through it and just like with explosive power and just so they were smashing together to get that last rep. See, yeah. see that's an art. That's, yeah, that. that is a lost art, like yeah. the old school <laughs> powerlifting. Yeah. Um, it's just, you don't see that no more. It's all about showing up, looking pretty, yeah. and posing in the mirror, and, and you know, looking good for the girls. It's not, not our story. Looking uh. good for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna look good for my grandma. That's the main reason when I leave. We'll check. <laughs> we'll find out, it's gonna be a great fail video. Will you let him know as far as like scraping? Um, anything like, that I am gonna compete on Sunday. So we don't wanna go like too crazy into it. Не очень сильно прям прорабатывать, потому что чтобы не было отека, потому что мы выступать, то есть такая прям чисто профилактика, да. Спят усталые игрушки, книжки. Ты вот вообще с Джулиусом давно знаком? С 2018 года мы с ним общаемся. Общаемся давно, да, с того времени. Причем очень тепло. Очень много раз нас пытались между собой столкнуть, типа у тебя техника лучше, у тебя это. Да что он без своей техники, он жмет живота. Даже некоторые друзья ждали от меня того, что я скажу, что да, ребят, любой человек, который может на своих руках без экипы поддержать такой вес, 300 даже там, это просто пиздец. В любой технике. Ренька, а что здесь происходит? Ну, я пацанам показал упражнения для армы. Подтягиваем с расширителями, вот форму руки, и вот загорелись, закусились. Окей, ма, кому? Okay. What do you want to do? Eat. Whatever. I'm, I'm game for whatever. Okay. I'm good. I'm, I feel great. Weight, body weight. So I'm 420 right now. So 45 kg difference. 45 kg. About 45. Okay. На многие вопросы, которые у вас возникают, есть один большой ответ, ребят. Паша спросил до этого, типа, хотел бы ты выступить где-то это. Почему я сейчас так в армрестлинге? Армрестлинг не требует столько сил и концентрации и отдавания всего себя, как требует этого пауэрлифтинг. Пауэрлифтинг, все, ты только занимаешься пауэрлифтингом, ты вообще больше ничего не делаешь, потому что это ноги, это спина, даже если ты жим просто тренируешь, выступаешь. Это другая просадка по ЦНС, другое самочувствие, другое состояние. И я не умоляю заслуг сейчас армрестлинга. Но армрестлинг физически чуть попроще. Технически, может быть, даже где-то сложнее, как бы он ни казался прост. Как видите, Большинство видео, которые вы смотрите за моим каналом, вы видели меня разного. То есть видели там, эй, эй, и с дурдачником такие там, вай, вы, где я действительно на хорошем настроении. А когда такой вот момент жизни, аж глаз лево сейчас дергается, ни в коем случае сейчас не пытаюсь найти. Просто, ну, плотно по графику, мужики. У Виктора Евгеньевича Блуда, когда я у него был на съемках, давно уже, 
он меня спрашивал, вот насколько вы блогер, а насколько вот вы это, там, на сколько процентов. И вот по сей день я еще не могу сказать, что я какой-то блогер. Представляете, какое мне удовольствие доставляет снимать для вас видео, получать обратную связь, общаться. Прямо вот кайфую, реально получаю удовольствие, особенно когда свободная голова, что-нибудь креативить, придумать видосик, залить его там в телегу. Кстати, подпишись на телегу, ребята. Реально креативить это мое. Вы там видели, я думаю, там по пощечинам, по всем остальным проектам, что ну люблю я придумать. Любой креатив убивает рутина, рутина, рутина будет и работа. Ну и работать мне нравится. Короче, в таких противоречиях мы пребываем в последнее время. А еще очень сильно, в школе у нас такая разговор, это больше формат, наверное, по поболтать, это обе полярки. Очень меня сильно парит момент. Попрошу вас отнеситься к этому с наибольшим пониманием. Мне очень льстит, мне очень приятно, когда ко мне подходит фотографироваться. Но когда я на выставке, ребят, кто был, извините, я, мужики, я там, мужики и девочки, я от вас не убегаю. Я реально бегаю в задачах. Поэтому отнеситесь, пожалуйста, с пониманием. Я для этого вам привожу гостей. С вас лайк, подписка. А с нас пейший контент.